If you are planning to sit for your IELTS exams for the first time, chances are that you have gone across so many materials online, including written materials and videos. And the truth is that most of the times, these materials are confusing. I mean, I know they are confusing to you, which is why you are watching this video. And I was once in your shoe. And I'm not the kind of person who will advise you to go and pay someone to teach you anything about IELTS. Trust me, you don't need anybody to teach you anything. Everything they think or you think that they can teach you is what you can learn by yourself. So why paying somebody to teach you what you can learn by yourself? It's a waste of money. So that is why in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything I did during my own time in order to get a desired band in my IELTS exams. So, but before I get started, please, like I usually say, don't forget to like and share this video. Share it to the people you think it will be helpful to. Subscribe to our channel. It's just a way to support us. And don't forget to like this video so that it will boost the views in algorithm so that YouTube will continue to recommend it to others. So let's get started. Was planning to take my first ever IELTS exams. What I did, the first step I took was resorting to YouTube to get a guidance on how to go about taking my IELTS exams. So because it was my first time, my first ever IELTS exam. So I went to YouTube, I visited YouTube and then started searching for various IELTS videos until I found a particular video. That particular video was uploaded on a channel called learn with sam and ash and that video is a 10 hours video i mean complete 10 hours video for ielts and guess what that video is a full course to ielts exam of any kind that particular video is the only video i watched i mean i took my time watching this video although i did not finish it in uh, on the first day because i'm a busy person free do work available on two seven and, and we can proudly say that the most almost have monday to sunday i work every what time so what i did was Before i watched begin, it part, you, part by part, part until i finished the video and then the next thing i did after watching the full video time, was that i started practicing a lot of now. exercises i mean lots and lots of exercises both in the listening test uh reading writing and so on i started practicing a lot of exercises because what that video does for you is that it gives you complete guide on how to answer any ielts question regardless of how complex it looks like so that video helps you to answer any question from any parts of ielts both in reading listening writing even in speaking so that's what the video does for you when it was time to practice for the exercises I used the materials provided by the British Council because there is a material they will send to you once you register for the IELTS exam. So that's the material I use. That material contains a lot of exercises you can practice. So I used it as my mode of practice, both for the reading, the writing, the uh, all of them. I used it to practice for all of them. So when I was practicing, I focused much more on the one that is difficult for me the most difficult one for me which is uh the ielts reading test i don't know why that particular one was the most difficult but it was the most difficult so i focused on practicing that particular area till i perfected it so and one of the advice i usually give to people who is their first time of attempting the ielts exam is that they should practice as much as they can and then once they practice very well they should put more effort in practicing that particular part that is most difficult for them because definitely there must be a part that is difficult for you unless you are a native speaker of english so but if you are not there is always that part that will be difficult for you so focus on practicing that part and perfecting it so that you will be comfortable when you are taking any part of the test that's just the thing so once you do this you are good so, and this is all you need in order to write your IELTS exam. 
you're coming at your exam trust me this is all you need you don't need any other thing aside from this thing i share i shared with you now which is also the only thing i did i never paid anybody to teach me anything about IELTS. so this is the only thing i did and then i got my desired band without stress so and you too can do it also and get your desired band so that's all for now and please like i usually say don't forget to like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that once we release another video like this one you'll be notified bye for now Thank you.